one of the things that we've become very used to in Australia and we're seeing it around the world is to tap with your credit card. With transit systems around the world, they've now put in that sort of technology. VIX is a specialist technology provider in transport ticketing technology or automated fare collection as it's also known. We've got a rich history, so we have customers in Australia, throughout Asia, in North America and throughout Europe. So our customers are typically transit agencies or authorities or operators in major cities around the world. We provide both the hardware and the software to allow their passengers to access their services easily. Ultimately, consumers' needs and passenger needs are changing and adapting rapidly. Consumer expectations, if they're accessing any service, but including public transport services, nowadays they want ultimately convenience, simplicity, and they want to use things on their terms. So if they use a smartphone, they want to be able to pay with their smartphone. Our customers are having to respond to disruption in their market from new entrants, so rideshare platforms, people behaving and commuting in, in very, very different ways. We're moving away from paper tickets and cash payments going through ticket machines to more of a mobile digital experience. So a typical project that we'll deliver today might have a mobile app with a QR code or an Apple Pay kind of payment. At the extreme end, what we're seeing in some cities is a rider can look through an app. They can say that I want to get from point A to point B and I want to go the fastest or I want to go the greenest. That technology will actually create the right ticket and it might be a blend of an Uber and a tram, it might be a scooter and a bus, and it'll take a single ticket, and the technology just divides up the funds in the back end. By using cloud technology, we can develop new solutions faster, which means we can more rapidly adapt to the changing needs of our customers. We've built a core platform that's really the backbone of any transit agency's enterprise architecture or IT infrastructure. And that platform is now a cloud-based platform, so no longer these on-premise systems, so it's, it's in the cloud. Before we were using AWS, we would typically spend several years buying infrastructure, designing it, building it, testing it to make sure it had the reliability. Today we can consume all of that from AWS. And instead of uh, putting a system in that might take two, three years, um, we can now get an agency running up in months. What's important about that is the flexibility they can get from having an API. So that means they can plug in other companies, um, existing validators and hardware. It means they can plug in different mobile apps and different mobility services. Cloud-based solutions are becoming the norm in our space. Over time, we'll go away from kind of physical validation where you have a smart card or a phone tapping against a device and we'll be using to much smarter technology such as facial recognition, ultra-wide Bluetooth. We're also looking forward to further innovation where we'll leverage AWS technologies to implement voice-to-text functions as part of our service desk portal solution. The positive thing that VIX is taking to the table, it doesn't have to be a one-size-fits-all simple cloud-based solution. You can actually deal with quite a lot of complexity in terms of the way you integrate that cloud-based system with other providers and also configure it to, to the fair system or what you know, whatever that city needs. Being able to have one global cloud provider that can take care of the base compute infrastructure, the data storage, the cyber security means that we can operate on a global scale from a more central location. And it means that we can get access to the scalability, the performance, and really importantly, the cyber security that we need in this modern world. <laughs>